Traveling to Amman, Jordan is like visiting an old friend and being made to feel at home, even if you've dropped in unexpectedly. This is the Middle East of your imagination, a two-tone beauty of sky blue and sandstone white. Jordan has long been an oasis of peace and hospitality, going back to ancient times. They welcome you with food and drink, even on the streets, from vendors pouring tangy tamarind juice who carry their entire setup on their back. People only like to drink from him because he's the best. To traditional Middle Eastern spreads. My favorite thing is the hummus, it's just amazing. To a dizzying array of desserts. You get like a variety of tastes in one bite. And you don't have to be king to get the royal treatment. The owners of the places are actually working inside and they're, they come to greet you, it's very uh, homey. It wouldn't be surprising if you're walking down the street and you get invited to lunch, people will ask you to come over to their house. Ragda Boutros co-founded BeAman.com to spotlight the city's favorite foods. Street food is fantastic. It's an opportunity to talk to the vendors, to learn about the city from them. And the first lesson is that since Amman is built around seven steep hills and ravines, following them to the bottom leads to the oldest area of souks or markets. It's here you find authentic foods like a kayak at the Abdel Rahman Bakery. This family has been baking sesame bread here for more than a century. Customers build their own kayaks with eggs and cheese. But you've never seen an egg cooked like this. Nestled in damp wood shavings, slow baked, almost smoked until firm. It comes out brown and hard boiled, infused with piney flavor. It gives the eggs a, a really kind of a, like a baked woody kind of taste. It's really delicious. It's an old tradition that uh, came from Jerusalem initially in Palestine and is very popular now in Amman. Finish with cheese, a dash of za'atar, an old Mideast blend of seasonings like thyme, oregano, marjoram, and sometimes sumac with sesame seeds. Mm. The wood chips make it kind of um, woody taste, and then the cheese gives it that kind of softness, and the thyme gives it a bit of a strong flavor. It's really, really good. Choose whatever you want, either eggs, cheese, uh, za'atar. You make it your own with your hands. It's my favorite place for fresh sandwiches. The kayak is devoured on the go, but locals who want to savor their street eats meet up at El Baba to sit, chat, and chew. The house special is sauteed liver and onions with Oman's most famous dips. One is hummus, which is mashed chickpeas blended with sesame paste, olive oil, lemon juice, and garlic. The other is fool, crushed broad beans also mixed with olive oil, lemon juice, and seasonings. It tastes um, very rich and, and creamy. That's good, because it has this like citrus taste, it's full of flavor. And eating becomes a communal dining experience. You're just basically sitting like practically in the street and you have people sitting next to you talking to you. It's nice to sit with people as well, you get to bond with everyone around you. Every restaurant and stand has its own special recipe for fool and hummus. None is more famous than Hashem's, a fixture in downtown Amman. <laughs> it's very nice. <laughs> it has been here a long time. They keep the same quality, the best quality. Hashem's is known for their Grand Slam version of hummus. It's kind of a destination that people go to. They have something called fette. Fette is something which is a combination of hummus, bread, pine nuts, oil. It's, it's a delicious thing that, that people love to have. And they make killer falafel, deep fried chickpea fritters. And for those who want a spicy kick, there's Hashem's special stuffed variety. Crispy falafel on the outside, soft on the inside, with the onion and then this chili paste. Down the block at Burj Al Urdu is one of the most popular bargain lunches in all of Amman. Meat, uh, kebab, uh, lamb, and um, beef mixed together. For about 60 cents, you get freshly grilled meat, spices, and vegetables in a crispy wrap. And in Amman, you have to save room for sweets, especially when it's this rich, creamy indulgence called kanafa. It's been served day and night for the last 80 years here at Habiba Kanafa. We've got cheese and burnt dough on top, pistachios, and uh, sugar syrup. You would either eat these um, in the morning as breakfast or for dessert. Every layer adds a level of sweet, gooey goodness. The Kanafa Masters first ladle out clarified butter, 
Toss in pie nuts and vermicelli pastry dough, then crumbled cheese curds. The deep dish pan goes on a burner until everything is melty and toasty golden brown. Then it's flipped over, pan removed, and it's drenched in sugar syrup, topped with fistfuls of crushed pistachios, and voila! The spud. Come to Habiba to eat it. Or if you're lucky enough to live above the store, the kanapa will come to you. They love their sweets in Amman, so there are little carts of cakes all around the city. Like this one, manned by a vendor cutting Dada cake. Okay, so this is semolina, and then it's got, uh, this is uh, cinnamon, and then on top of it is almonds, crushed almonds. And it's made by his family. His father started it 50, 60 years ago, and he's inherited it from him. His, his family name is the same name as the sweet. It's not too sweet. It's very nutty and spicy. It's really good. And whether you're in the mood for cake and coffee or meats and dips, the locals are ready not just to serve, but also to keep you company. You need to really spend time walking the streets, talking to people. They're very eager to talk and, and, and tell you about their cities. Get to know it. There's always something new to find out.